So. Hop. guys we got the l19 man excited to try this you know these aren't going to be the best beam shots so look at other videos before you buy or if you like me you just buy stuff uh, their other video there's one by a guy i'll try to put it in here he did uh that workos ld01 which i just ordered versus this amazing quality so check that out but yeah, I got the uh, L19, and I got the L18 to do a little comparison, just to see what it's about. So I believe we're in the regular mode. See, this is kind of a thing. I'm trying to find the button. In the front, I can't find it. All right, so we're shining at the tree at the lowest. It is on. I can see it just a little bit, but I wouldn't be able to tell <clears throat> if there's anything there. Here's the next mode. And it is humid, over 70 dew point. It is nasty out. But yeah, here's the next mode. And we got the settings all maxed out. But it's definitely brighter than what's showing up on the camera. There's the next one. And boom, turbo. <laughs> Freaking laser beam. Shine it way down there. That's crazy. So I'm gonna do one, there's some like power lines down there. I don't know how far. Maybe close to half a mile. A little less. You see, it's lighting it up. This is turbo, obviously. And then here's the L18. L19. L18. See, so yeah, these are pretty close. L19. L18. L19. L18. 19, 18. All right, so just at that I could see L19 is definitely hitting it a little better. It's not much different but it's it's a little bit it's worth having both of these probably not but you know that's <laughs> flesh and we like that I think there's a bat yeah these are good just for scanning I'm trying to see L19 here L18 so definitely a different tint I think the L19 seems a little bit brighter Hard to tell. But we're gonna turn this around, shine it at this uh, building quick. So yeah, we're gonna shine it at the apartment. Lighten it up. L18. L19. L18. L19. So yeah, definitely different beams. Not too crazy difference, but a little bit. Yeah, hopefully you like the beam shots of the L19. We're going to do the last part of the review. Um, we got the... I am tired today. Give me a like if you cannot sleep at night like me can't sleep more shit but yeah anyways talk about the L19 um, I did use it a little bit after this video too um, 
I didn't record anything else um, because it was hot. Like I said, it was humid. Dew point over 70. It was like 72. Man. And the people downstairs, they were outside partying even when I got home. They were probably partying for like seven hours outside. <laughs> over 90 degrees drinking. My fat ass would die. Plus, I don't really drink, so, yeah. So I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So how do I like it? I give it a thumbs up. It's quite expensive, um, but it's good. And also, I got, I just saw um, yesterday, there's like a light that's pretty much like this, L19, the Workos uh, TDO1 or TDO2. Um, but I did order that. So hopefully that comes within two weeks because I'm out for like four to, or I'm out for five days and a couple weeks uh, Labor Day so yeah hopefully I can get some beam shots hopefully the weather's cooler but yeah there'll probably be comparison with that you know but this light it's hard to record the distance you know um, I might try to do some videos to maybe show the distance better but it's definitely a thrower you know not a lot of spill but it is good because I was after this I was walking I didn't walk too much but I was walking and then I heard like uh, whistling somebody whistling again I don't know if it's the same dude with the dog but it kind of creeped me out so I was looking don't see anything and you know I'm kind of walking with the P23i and the P17 you know those have good throw but not a lot but when you got this L19 you could just hit the button for turbo kind of look, you know. Then you get that spill, and then you get that throw. So that was really cool. Um, that P30i or P35i can do that, but that's expensive. I might try that at some point, but yeah, we'll see. All right, so. Yeah, I can't wait to do the comparison with the, the Workos and this light. Amazing throw. You know, Ace Beam is a little expensive, but the quality makes up for it. Beam's really nice. The hot spot, like if you look at it on a wall, there's like a, some yellowish in there. But when you're out there shining it, you can't see it. You know, um, that Workos definitely has something in the beam I don't like, but it's a thrower, so we'll see. And cheap, much cheaper than this. You could buy two of them for the price of this, but you got to pay, you know, for Ace Beam for that quality. So, yeah, overall, I like it. I like the UI, but I wish they'd have the tactical tail switch with the power, you know, like the off and on momentary and then the mode switch at the tail cap. Get rid of the front E switch. You don't need it. Plus, it's, it's, it was hard to find last night a couple times because it's all black. It's flat, so it's hard to find. It took me like 10 seconds to find it one time. I kept whoosh, 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 and then found it. Um, but yeah, overall, like the light, really nice. Throws far. But the Osram would throw farther. So if you want more throw, you got to get the Osram. But me... I got the regular one. I might try the green one at some point. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, if you want more throw, you have to get the Osram. But I didn't know if that was the version 2, so I didn't really pick it up. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys have the light. How do you like it? Is there anything else I should look into? Because since I'm getting back into lights, you know, I kind of want that Emelin, the SR36, but I don't know. I don't like Emelin, to be honest. Like, they're they're only known for their, like, their higher power, but <laughs> their lights aren't good. That's the only reason why people buy them, because they make the brightest. But, yeah, anyways. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace.